Hey, Scott here with New Tech Old Toys. I wanted to get back with you about a product I did an unboxing on about a month ago. The CalDigit TS3 Plus Thunderbolt 3 15 port docking station. Effectively turning your MacBook Pro or your Thunderbolt 3 equipped laptop into a desktop. It's a great tool. I wanted to go over a few of my ups and downs pluses, minuses. I've been running it for about a month. There's a couple things to point out, but all in all, I want you to stick around, subscribe, like, notification bell. There's a lot of content coming out from New Tech Old Toys. Hi, in today's video, we're going to take a recap review, a 30-day recap review of the CalDigit TS3 Plus Thunderbolt 3 docking station. There's a couple things to point out. They market the product as a 15 port expansion. Well, truth be told, it's a 14 port expansion. I think it's a great value for starters. What you're getting, I think they're right around $250 right now, $260 uh, at the time of this video. They can go upwards of three, 350. Uh, what a great product though. I uh, want to go over some basic performance specs where we're going to take a high-speed Samsung T7 SSD drive. So we're going to hook it up to the CalDigit's 5 gigabit per second port, 10 gigabit per second port, and its extension Thunderbolt 3 40 gigabit per second port. And we're going to look at the performance specs but I want you to know that not only are we using a full five gigabyte load on the data transfer for the writes and the reads, so it's a pretty nice size test, and we're gonna run that test multiple times, but also we're going to be looking at the CalDigit TS3 Plus performance while rendering a second display in 4K high def. The Thunderbolt 3 is gonna be an active bus serving other resources, the CalDigit TS3 Plus will be active supporting other real world activities like my microphone input, that again, that 4K high de ultra high def display secondary screen simultaneously. So let's get a real world example and feel for what this CalDigit 3 really is and isn't. And uh, stick around to the end because I was really surprised there will be links down below. So if you're getting value, and you know there is, that's why you're watching this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, notification bell. There's more coming. Throw some comments in there. What would you like to see? Or do you have any questions about the product? Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are with the... CalDigit TS3 Plus, we're going to test the 5 gigabyte per second port, the USB 3 port, with the Samsung T7 SSD drive. Okay, considerably slower than the higher speed ports on the 5 gigabit per second port. We're looking at exceeding 300 megabytes per second for writing. And it looks like reading is exceeding 340 megabytes per second with the Samsung T7 SSD drive. So again, we are exceeding 300 megabytes per second writing, 340 megabytes per second reading with our external Samsung T7 SSD drive connected to the five gigabit per second port on the CalDigit TS3 Plus. So pretty good performance metric while the CalDigit is warm, busy, doing its thing, rendering a 4K secondary display. It's performing quite nicely. 
Let's uh, pump up the volume to the 10 gigabit and even the 40 gigabit per second port, the actual Thunderbolt 3 port. And then let's also compare with the Direct Connect to the MacBook Pro. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the Samsung T7 SSD connected to the CalDigit 10 gigabyte per second port. Let's look at the full 5 gigabyte load package performance for writing and reading. Okay, so over the CalDigit, while the CalDigit is displaying in 4K on its video port, it's certainly processing other work in the background. And we're using the 10 gigabit per second port, USB 3.2 generation 2 on that port matched to the Samsung USB 3.2 Gen 2. We are looking at a solid 550 plus. We're hitting 575 megabytes per second writing and exceeding that in our reading we're exceeding 700 megabytes per second so the cal digit while it's busy rendering a 4k video secondary display output which is a fair load to put on this while we're testing its various throughput properties on the other ports so here we are, 577 megabytes per second writing, 700 megabytes per second reading. That's pretty great for the 10 gigabit per second port for the USB 3.2 Gen 2. Okay, so there you have it, 579 megabytes per second peaking on our writing and 709 megabytes per second reading. Pretty fantastic speeds. for a five gigabyte load. Okay, so here we are with the CalDigit TS3 Plus connected to the Samsung SSD, the Samsung T7 SSD to the Thunderbolt 3 port. So this is the fastest port the CalDigit offers. It does offer the full Thunderbolt 3 we're talking a 40 gigabit per second port on the CalDigit TS3, the external Thunderbolt port connected to the Samsung T7 SSD drive. Let's see what the Blackmagic Disk speed test is going to do for us here. Okay, let's choose the target device. Let's get a five gigabyte workload writing and reading so on our five gigabit per second port we were averaging 300 megabit megabyte per second writing 300 megabyte per second reading well we're on our 40 gigabit port right now we're hitting 790 megabyte per second writing 800 and 50 megabyte per second reading. So we're getting some phenomenal performance across this bus. The drive is capable of a thousand megabyte per second writing, thousand megabyte, thousand fifty megabyte per second reading. We do have the CalDigit simultaneously supporting a workload of 4K display output for a secondary display as well. So this is a real world test here. This is what you can reliably expect
from the Cal Digit. I'm also putting my microphone through it right now, but the external secondary display in 4K is a good load. And here we are writing 795 megabytes per second and reading 800 and near 50 megabytes per second. Externally through the, the external Thunderbolt 3 port on the Cal Digit TS3 Plus to the Samsung T7. This is a great pairing. Now for contrast, I'm also going to do a fourth test here. And let's take a look at the Direct Connect performance of the Samsung T7 SSD drive onto the native Thunderbolt 3 port of this 2020 i7 MacBook Pro. Let's check it out. I have really been enjoying this tour through the CalDigit ports to look at the performance. Pretty great performance all in all. Really great performance on that 10 gigabit per second port. Really great better performance on that 40 gigabit per second port with the Samsung T7 SSD drive that is USB 3.2 generation 2 rated at 1000 megabyte per second writing, 1050 megabyte per second reading. Now let's go to the native onboard embedded Thunderbolt 3 port on the 13 inch 2020 i7 MacBook Pro Thunderbolt 3 port 10th generation Intel the Thunderbolt 3 port is also rated at 40 gigabit per second we're a little more direct we're bypassing the external Cal digit let's see what the native performance is going to really look like here let's hit it with a 5 gigabyte workload really nice performance 792 megabytes per second writing on the first pass 879 megabytes per second reading on the first pass we're we're exceeding 800 megabytes per second writing and 878 megabytes per second reading now on the second pass of a five gigabyte load written to the external Samsung T7 SSD drive over the embedded Thunderbolt 3 port on the 2020 13 inch i7 MacBook Pro it's it's really cranking it's rocking it's putting some high volume out now looking at these great values is really encouraging to recognize the efficiency and sheer performance that that cal digit ts3 plus is giving us we're getting real comparable values here from the native direct connect port that same 40 gigabyte gigabit per that same 40 gigabit per second throughput rating on the Thunderbolt 3 port built in also to the external Thunderbolt 3 port with its daisy chaining and how efficient that's working while it's supporting an external secondary display in full 4k it's also supporting the microphone that you're listening to me from right now this thing is a workhorse, the CalDigit TS3 Plus. One month later, I love this thing. This is one of the best accessories I could recommend for any Thunderbolt 3 user, for a MacBook user or a PC user. You're seeing some real satisfying results here. Uh, very comparable to the native embedded circuit uh, very, very minimal delay, very minimal lag, fantastic transfer rate. It's just giving us an example of how great that actual external Thunderbolt 3 connected CalDigit TS3 Plus 
They say 15 port, I say 14 port. Expansion dock really does perform. What an excellent buy. So I hope this has been helpful and informative. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more. There's plenty of more content coming from New Tech Old Toys. Thanks so much and see you soon. Well, there you have it. You've seen the performance of the Samsung TS7 SSD, their high-speed external portable drive, cranking away on a USB 3.1 5 gigabit per second port and doing pretty good. Super cranking away on that 10 gigabit per second port and doing fantastic. And then when hooked up to that Thunderbolt 3 port on the CalDigit TS3 Plus, wow, 40 gigabit per second port, handling that drive at a very respectable speed while serving up 4K ultra high def, handling the microphone input, pretty sweet. Uh, what an amazing performance. And then to see the performance and compare it to the connection direct to the native 2020 i7 13-inch MacBook Pro with the faster memory, that SSD is rocking. And to see that it is only a handful of megabytes per second faster without the TS3 dock in the way while it's serving up ultra high def 4K and doing the audio and all of those concurrent activities. Just incredible performance. Basically five to 10 megabyte difference when you're talking about an 800 megabyte writing and even better performance on the reading. That is a monster. That CalDigit has such a small footprint, a small load on the bandwidth and it moves so much data. It's almost invisible and completely transparent uh, compared to connecting directly to the uh, native MacBook Pro port, the Thunderbolt 3. So I just wanted to share that with you. Some of these values are just as fast with and without the CalDigit um, connected. So to know that you can get that high speed of a performance out of a docking station while it's also serving up 4K ultra high def secondary displays, other serial communications like the microphone, uh, just fantastic performance. Can't say enough good things about it. I hope this has been helpful. Remember, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more content. And by the way, question of the day, what would you want to add to your Thunderbolt 3 capable computer? Put it in the comments below. I want to check it out. Hope and I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, seeing this review. Thank you so much.